Je vais vous parler des écosystèmes marins. I'm going to tell you about ocean marine ecosystems. They're very different from coastal ecosystems. They're difficult to access. They're huge, difficult to study. And I'm going to explain how scientists organize themselves to find reliable information on these ecosystems. The large ocean ecosystems are often called deserts because uh, food is highly dispersed and the main species living in those areas need to travel a long way to find food and nutrients. And very often, These are migrating species and species which move across the oceans from one ocean to the next, and they can be found in all three oceans. These species are also exploited, fished, 4,500,000 tonnes are caught by industrial fisheries, but also a smaller fisheries, which uh, mainly fish along the coast. The Pacific Ocean is the uh, ocean where most fishes are caught, 60% of production, followed by the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. The main fishing countries, fishing tuna, across the world are Japan, followed by other countries and European countries, uh, Spain and France, uh, together catch 10% of the uh, fishes being fished across the world, uh, tuna fish being fished across the world. In order to study these resources, the uh, IRD, Institut de Recherche pour Développement, for which I work, has partnered with professional fisheries in order to uh, have access to reliable information on this environment and the resources being fished, especially fisheries uh, which develop uh, sane fishing, a specific type of uh, fishing in tropical oceans, targeting three species, Tunus albacaris, uh, the uh, tuna fish with the yellow uh, fin, Katsuwonus palamis, and the obese tuna, Tunus obesus. These uh, ships use uh, sains, 200, 300 uh, meters of uh, depth and 1,000 meters of uh, length for the net, used like a uh, butterfly fly net, the idea is to uh, place the net around the school of fishes and it then closes like a purse, trapping the fish inside. Saining is a type of fishing that requires uh, to locate the migrating fishes and a lot of time is spent with uh, modern technology trying to spot the fishes. Initially, the ships try to locate the various uh, schools and areas uh, with satellite imagery, but also on board the ships they have a huge binoculars and finally raiders trying to spot the presence of birds, because usually when there are birds, it means that uh, there is food below and there are probably uh, fishes and tuna fishes below the birds. They also use sonars in the water to identify concentrations, schools of fishes, which could be tuna fish, but elsewhere, else, something else as well, either around the, the ship or below the, the ship. A lot of modern technology, high technology, in order to spot fishes in the sea. So, as I said, the ships spend a lot of time trying to locate, find uh, indications or traces uh, betraying the presence of uh, tunas. For instance, they try to uh, spot ripples on the surface of the sea, like this picture, and when they see these ripples, they, it means that there is uh, a school of tuna fishes, so they come as close as they can, and they try to circle the school with the saner net. And unfortunately, um, they are only successful once every two attempts. Still, tuna fish uh, is uh, good quality fish, large fishes, so it's worthwhile trying to catch them. Recently, fishermen have understood that... Um, 
un débris, une ville de bois, euh, anything un floating on the surface un, of the sea, a tree, a dead animal, attire, tends to attract fishes, tends to attract turtles, small fishes, and tuna fish. For the last 30 years, approximately, this type of fishing has developed. Fisheries uh, use floating objects which are artificially deposited onto the sea with the geolocation uh, systems so that they can find them easily and fish whatever has accumulated below those um, objects. And for scientific purposes, this type of fishing method is currently being debated. The problem with uh, floating object fishing method, obviously it's easier because uh, fishes can be more easily spotted uh, under the, the object uh, and rarely will they uh, come back empty-handed except that they fish not only the tunas but also accessory fishes, other species of fishes, uh, sea turtles which will be uh, thrown back into the sea alive and sharks which unfortunately tend to die in the nets. So there is a problem arising from this new fishing method. We need accurate and reliable scientific data to be able to address the problem. Researchers have data available collected on board the fishing ships. For instance, uh, fishing logs. Every captain on a ship must fill in every day for every fishing campaign a log indicating the position, the quantity of fish being caught, the type of fish. And we ensure 100% coverage. We have this information available for all ships every day. And the information is then entered into our database. We also perform uh, sampling in the various uh, harbors where the fishes are disembarked. We have uh, people from the IRD taking samples in order to determine the quantities uh, being landed, the specific structure, the size of the fishes, etc., and the types, uh, the species being caught. Also something else, we now also send scientific observers on board the ships. They uh, sail with the ships and they uh, write down information regarding position, fishing strategy, catches, species being caught, the sizes, and the uh, fishes being uh, kept on board and those uh, thrown back into the sea. And this kind of information cannot be gathered uh, except when sailing with the ship. We also have information regarding the uh, exact positioning of the ships with the VNS, uh, Vessel Monitoring System. This system has been uh, made compulsory ever since the uh, year 2000 so that we can know at all times where the ships are are located, and this information is also used in order to divide the uh, catches between the economic exclusive areas so that we can uh, maintain uh, cooperation agreements between the fisheries and the uh, countries. I hope that I've been able to show you that ocean, the ocean environment is a huge environment very difficult to access, very difficult to study with conventional uh, research methods. Therefore, we at IRD in our observatory on tuna fish have used uh, data coming from fisheries and we uh, collaborate uh, with uh, seiners, per seiners. This is a very good collaboration. We obtained some high quality data and it's also a good way to maintain constant dialogue with uh, professional fishermen so that we can can help um, preserve the ecosystem and uh, make sure that fishing will be a uh, sustainable activity.